Opening in theaters this week, courtesy of Bleecker Street in the United States, and Level Film in Canada, is the pure drama Mr. Malcolm's List, and here's my review. There's a lasting appeal to Jane Austen-style historical films. The audience watches fancy people trade witty remarks to each other and occasionally find love. Adapting Suzanne Allen's novel, Mr. Malcolm's List does exactly that with its depiction of the love triangle that forms and the complications that arise from this. The story is hardly anything groundbreaking, as it not depart too heavily from the mold. Nonetheless, there's enough humor and interesting character dynamics to keep one interested. Director Emma Holly Jones has clearly studied these kinds of films in depicting the historical setting. There are the expected scenes of lavish estates and people in fancy clothes, and the cast fit well into those surroundings. Some may gripe with the diverse casting, but this was never a distracting element in the story, and it's great seeing other races represented in stories where they previously were not ordinarily featured in. The actors are well cast in their roles and bring exactly what's required of them in playing these upper and middle class men and women. The screenplay gives them dialogue befitting their characters and what we commonly hear in Austin stories. There are some humorous remarks made along with insights into male and female behavior. Mr. Malcolm's List especially seeks to target the unfair standard men put on women and the misogyny occasionally wielded when they seek romantic partner. While the character of Julia schemes a revenge plot on Malcolm, the film is not afraid to call out for her behavior and the way she tries to manipulate the situation to her liking. One of the movie's flaws, interesting enough, comes from the scenes between Malcolm and Frieda Pinto's Selena. At a certain point, one realizes they don't share much chemistry, which does hinder parts of the story. It seems unclear why the audience is meant to want these two to get together, because they don't share much in common, and very rarely does it look like Malcolm has endeared her. Along the way, Oliver Jackson Cohen and Theo James provide solid support as friends, and there's some humor out of their complete embarrassment at this whole situation. For aficionados of these sorts of period romances, there's enough to appreciate in Mr. Malcolm's list. It's a light, fluffy affair, but that's sometimes all you need in this kind of movie. Underneath the surface, the film comments on the pressures put on women to fulfill checklists, and the film is able to show how this affects the main characters. For a feature directing debut, Emma Holly Jones shows a lot of promise and clearly has an eye for depicting these historical settings, while also bringing her own spin to the familiar comedy manners template.